Are you truly concerned about your friend or family member who does not know Jesus as their personal Savior? The sad reality is that it is much easier to concern ourselves with ourselves more than the spiritual well-being of others. This misguided priority is even more evident in the way how we read and apply Psalm 23. When we read Psalm 23, we tend to focus on what God will do for us as individuals. The focus and emphasis are on I and me. Hence we read, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Now nothing is wrong with seeing yourself as a sheep because God calls us his sheep and he will provide for us. The problem, however, lies in the fact that most of us are comfortable being less than who we are called to be. We are comfortable settling for less. We are comfortable living an ordinary Christian life. We are comfortable living without the anointing and power of God directing our every move. We are comfortable being followers when God has called us out of darkness to be leaders and instruments of change in our communities. And this, my friends, is the problem. But to make matters worse, some of us are. Comfortable with committing sins, they ask for forgiveness every night. Others are comfortable with unrepented sin in their lives. And of course, others are comfortable with their sons and daughters racing to the gates of hell. Sure, we can't personally save them, but it is our responsibility to try any means necessary, exhaust every possibility, and be relentless in our pursuit of them. We must declare to ourselves that Satan cannot, will not have this one. We claim this one for Jesus. The Pharisees and law teachers had a big problem with Jesus' ideology of our responsibility to go and seek and save souls. They asked, why is it that this man is welcoming sinners? Then Jesus responds in parables that translate, because I love them enough. It is then reasonable to conclude that we don't know that God is calling all of us to be shepherds in our homes and communities. In fact, I dare to say that we are clueless shepherds always acting as sheep when God calls us to lead and serve others. Clueless shepherds are persons in leadership roles that 1. don't know their purpose for being here, 2. fail to see and understand the will of God for their lives, 3. believes that everything revolves around them, 4. fail to understand that they should be just like Jesus, and finally, 5. An immature saint who does not love lost people enough. Now has it dawned upon you that you might be a clueless shepherd and you are not living a fulfilled life? What I am getting at is the fact that our neighbors, our community members, our enemies, our brothers and sisters see us as big fat hypocrites because we say we are Christians but we live as people who serve a blind God who does not see our hidden sins, we live as a people who serve a deaf God that does not hear the thirty and nasty stuff we say to each other. We live as people who serve a dead God who is not hurt and grieving about the bad decisions we make. We are the clueless shepherd. But praise be to God that we don't serve a God that is blind, deaf, and dead but a living God whose name is called the Lord our righteous Savior. Now pause and deeply contemplate these questions. Has it ever occurred to you that the Holy Spirit is grieving because you fail to trust Him? Has it ever occurred to you that obedience is better than sacrifice? Has it ever occurred to you that the only Bible some people will read is your life? Has it ever occurred to you that you have been crucified with Christ and you no longer live, 
but Christ lives in you and the life you now live in the body. You live by faith in the Son of God, who loved you and gave himself for you. Has it occurred to you? Has it? We know. These are some difficult questions, but let us finish with a different take on Psalm 23. First, we will read what Psalm 23 says about God and then what it says about us. With God as the subject of Psalm 23, it can be applied as follows. Verse 1, he is shepherd. Verse 2, he is green pastures. Verse 3, he is the refresher of souls. He is right paths. Verse 4, he is the darkest valley. He is feared and no evil is in him. He is rod. He is staff. He is the comforter. Verse 5, he is table. He is the anointing oil. Verse 6, he is goodness. He is love. He is forever. Now let's take it a step further and focus on who we are called to be based on Psalm 23. Verse 1, you become the shepherd for the lost souls. Verse 2, you become the green pastures for their need. Verse 3, you become the refresher when they are broken. You become the right path for them to follow. Verse 4, you become the darkest valley when they sin. You become the confidant and point out evil. You become the rod of correction. You become the staff of discipline. You become the comforter for them. Verse 5, you become the table where they are gathered. You become the anointing oil that blesses them. Verse 6, you become the goodness that celebrates them. You become the love that reassures them. You become the forever best friends in glory. Isn't it amazing that Psalm 23 outlines the complete mission of the church? And it demands shepherds who are not clueless, but shepherds who will love people enough. We, therefore, challenge you to become all that Psalm 23 calls us to be to our friends, family members, and community members. Now let's look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today inspired by the powerful words of Psalm 23. As we seek to become the shepherds of your flock, we know that we are called to be strong and courageous leaders filled with your divine wisdom and compassion. We recognize that you have been our faithful shepherd, leading us through the many challenges and triumphs of life. And now, we ask for the grace and strength to follow in your footsteps, to be the shepherds for those who are lost and in need of guidance. We ask for discernment to recognize the needs of those around us, and for the courage to speak truth into their lives, even when it is difficult. May our words and actions be a reflection of your love, and may we be a source of hope and encouragement for all who cross our path. We trust in your unfailing guidance and provision, and we know that you will equip us to be the shepherds that your people need. For this, we give you thanks and praise. Dear Lord, we come before you asking for your guidance and wisdom as we seek to become green pastures for those in need. We know that you have blessed us abundantly, and we want to be able to share those blessings with others who are struggling. Help us to be attentive to those around us who may be in need of rest and nourishment. Give us hearts of compassion and generosity so that we may offer support and encouragement to those who are burdened by the challenges of life. We ask that you provide us with the resources we need to be able to help others, whether it be through our time, talents, or financial resources, we pray that we may be able to make a meaningful difference in the lives of those around us. Lord. 
We know that there are many people who are hurting in this world, and we want to be a source of hope and comfort for them. Help us to be patient and kind as we listen to their struggles and offer words of encouragement and hope. May our lives be a reflection of your love and compassion, Lord, and may we use our blessings to bless others. We pray that you would continue to guide us and direct our paths as we seek to be green pastures for those in need. Almighty Father, we come before you with a humble heart, seeking your guidance and wisdom as we navigate through this broken world. We know that there are many who are hurting, and we ask that you use us as instruments of your healing and restoration. May our words and actions be a source of comfort and strength to those who are broken, lost, and weary. Help us to show them the love and compassion that you have shown us, and let them know that they are not alone in their struggles. Lord, we ask that you give us the courage and wisdom to lift the spirits of those who are downtrodden and to mend the hearts of those who are wounded. Let us be a beacon of hope to those who have lost their way and show them the path to renewal and strength. Guide us, Father, to be the right path for them to follow. Help us to lead by example, demonstrating the righteousness that comes from walking in your ways. May we be a living testimony of your love and grace, and may our lives be a reflection of your goodness and mercy. As we traverse the twists and turns of life, we are bound to encounter those who have lost their way and have succumbed to the temptations of sin. It is during these moments that we must become the beacon of hope that guides them out of the abyss of despair. We must be a trustworthy confidant, lending a patient ear and a compassionate heart to those in need. We must be fearless in pointing out the evils of their ways, while also showing them love and grace. Let us not shy away from correcting them when necessary, and let us be the steadfast support that helps them grow in faith and character. It is our duty to be the light that illuminates their path towards righteousness. Lord, we recognize that there are many people around us who are going through difficult times. Some are experiencing physical pain, financial troubles, broken relationships, or emotional distress. We ask that you give us the sensitivity and empathy to understand their needs and offer them comfort. Help us to be a source of hope and encouragement for those who are struggling. May we be willing to listen to their stories without judgment or criticism. Let us offer practical assistance, such as bringing food, offering a ride, or helping with chores. Let us also be willing to pray for them and with them, asking for your divine intervention and guidance. We pray that our actions and words will reflect your love and compassion. May we be a reminder to those who are hurting that you are always with them, even in their darkest moments. May our presence bring them a sense of peace and comfort knowing that they are not alone in their struggles. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve others in this way. May we be faithful stewards of the gifts and resources you have given us, using them to bless those around us. We ask that you continue to guide us and strengthen us as we seek to be a source of comfort and hope to those in need. Father, we come to you with hearts filled with gratitude for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for the abundance of food that you have provided for us and ask that you help us to use it to create a space of fellowship and community for those around us. We pray that we may be a table where others can gather, a place where all are welcomed and valued. 
May we be a source of comfort and support for those who need it, and may we bring joy and blessings into their lives. Teach us to be the anointing oil that blesses those around us. Help us to celebrate their victories and support them in their challenges, showing them the depth of your love and care. May we be a light in the darkness for those who are struggling, and may we be a beacon of hope for those who have lost their way. Father, we pray that you would use us to make a difference in the lives of those around us. May we serve them selflessly, meeting their needs and sharing your love with them in tangible ways. May we be a reflection of your grace and mercy, showing others the way to salvation and eternal life. In all that we do, may we glorify your name and bring honor to your kingdom. Lord, we ask that you fill us with your love, grace, and mercy so that we can be a shining light in this world. Let our actions be a reflection of your goodness, celebrating the accomplishments and successes of those around us. Help us to be selfless in our interactions, putting others' needs before our own. Let us show your love to those who feel unloved and your kindness to those who feel alone. We pray that you would help us to honor the dignity and worth of every person we encounter, regardless of their background or beliefs. Let us be a source of hope and encouragement, offering unwavering support and affirmation to those who need it most. May we be a constant reminder that they are valued and loved by you. Lord, we ask that you teach us to be forever best friends to those we encounter. We pray that you would help us to walk alongside them in faith and joy, sharing in the journey toward your eternal kingdom. Let us be a source of strength and comfort to those who are struggling and a beacon of joy and hope in a world that can often be dark and discouraging. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being able to spread your love and goodness to those around us. May we always be faithful and obedient to your calling, and may our lives be a testament to your grace and mercy. Heavenly Father, we know that we cannot fulfill these duties on our own. We need your strength, wisdom, and love to guide us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, empowering us to be the shepherds, green pastures, refreshment, light, confidant, correction, discipline, comfort, table, anointing oil, goodness, love, and friends that you have called us to be. Let our lives be a testament to your grace and glory, shining your light in a world that so desperately needs it. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, Please share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer requests. Feel free to leave them in the comments, and together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember. You're not just a viewer, you're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.